Do you ever have issues where you find abrasive in your blast pot solenoid or in your clean signal airlines that go to the metering valves? Let's find out why. Hello, I'm Vince Pazat, and today we're gonna to talk about how to properly depressurize your blast pot to eliminate the likelihood of abrasive getting into your solenoid or into your signal lines. Typically, customers at the end of the day will have their inlet ball valve open that goes to their compressor. And when it's time to shut down for the day, they'll take off, shut down the compressor and let everything drain backwards to the compressor. Wrong. What you actually need to do is shut off the inlet supply air, possibly at the dryer so you don't have a loaded hose, and then from there open up the blowdown muffler. If you don't do this, what actually happens by letting the air drain backwards from inside the vessel to the compressor is you create a vacuum from the riser pipe through here and you load everything full of abrasive. And when you repressurize, you then inject that abrasive through all your signal lines. And that's how you end up with abrasive in your clean signal airlines. I hope this small tip helps you in the field. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Primed Insight. We'll see you next week.